We have updates on coronavirus in our area. Let's start with the uh, numbers from Virginia and North Carolina. Virginia now has 68,814 confirmed cases and 1,861 deaths uh, since the start of the pandemic. North Carolina's case count is now up to 87,528 and more than 1,500 deaths. Tonight, 13 News Now anchor Dan Kennedy is tracking concerning trends in several Hampton Roads cities. Cases of COVID-19 in the Commonwealth continue to climb. This chart shows the number of new cases added each day. And today, uh, July 13th, we see 984 new cases statewide. Half of those are courtesy of the seven cities of Hampton Roads. So let's take a look a little closer at Virginia Beach, for example, with its largest one day increase yet today, 157 new cases in Virginia Beach. And we find that one out of every 10 people tested in the beach comes back COVID positive. Compare that to the statewide uh, percent positivity rate of about 6.8%. Now, Newport News and Hampton also reporting a couple alarming increases today that I wanna highlight. We'll start with Newport News. 96 new cases today. What's up with that? We're not really sure, but you look at every other day prior to this, dating back to June 1st, you see increases in the single digits, then in the teens and in the 20s, but nothing like this 96. And how about in Hampton? Also a large increase there. 56 new cases in Hampton today. Again, a number not in line with what we have seen historically uh, and their rate of positivity, by the way, 10% in Hampton. How about the city of Norfolk, which has been a hot spot as of late today, though, actually on the decline from recent days with 40 new cases. Still the big number, perhaps most concerning in Norfolk is the percent positivity rate, almost 17%. That's 10% more than what we're seeing statewide. Of course, these are numbers we're going to continue to keep an eye on all week as we always do. I'm Dan Kennedy reporting.